Hey guys, I am Big and Scare, and bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay, this time featuring in our top left hand side Viper XK, our Red Terran. He is part of Clan CKI, which is a new addition in my mind. Uh, I don't think I've cast anything by Viper XK since coming over to uh, Heart of the Swarm, so it could be that he's always been part of this and I just didn't know, or something like that. Uh, or it could be that this is new. Well, regardless, welcome to the clan if, if it's new, and if not, uh, it's nice to see the recognition there is all I'm trying to get at. Lullaby Clanless is our uh, Terran opponent in the top right-hand side playing our blue trunks. Both players are in very high diamond. Remember that this is being cast off of a very recent game, probably since the ladder points have been reset. So both players, I know Viper belongs in Masters. I know Lullaby has been in Masters before. Probably both players belongs uh, in Masters and would kick over to Masters very, very soon. But at the time of this game being played, they were both in Diamond, I believe. You know how Battle.net is. It's kind of weird. Very early gas being thrown down by Lullaby, beginning to work on that wall off with the Supply Depot there. Super early gas like this before Barracks usually points to a Reaper opening. Obviously, it's impossible to tell one way or another what a player is thinking without extensive history of them. Uh, however, it's it's all signs point to that. Over, oh, yeah. Here's the other opening that you can do as a... Terran, you can get the uh, barracks up without any gas at all, which usually points to an earlier expansion. Keep an eye out for that gas coming out of uh, Viper XK as time goes on, because it could also be some sort of Hellion opening, maybe a Hell Bat opening, both of which are very, very effective. Uh, the barracks just now being thrown down by Lullaby, it, the supply depot very much delayed because of that early gas. We will allow the SCV to poke inside, just see that that early gas has already been started. And in fact, if you're super, super skilled, and Viper XK as a master player probably is, they'll probably click on that refinery just to get the gas count to see how much has been mined, to see when it actually finished. can be very helpful. However, in this scenario, it's ultimately unnecessary because you know that the barracks is only about halfway done. So even if that... Uh, refinery had only been constructed right now he's still gonna have more than 50 gas uh, already mined before that barracks is done so he knows that a reaper could definitely pop out of that immediately marine being produced from the barracks back at home we can see that the refinery has also been produced for viper xk but because of its delayed instance i believe it's more due to tech probably going to see in a factory being thrown down in a very short period of time the reaper is indeed being constructed the scv is being very ballsy however the scouting scv returning home from lullaby is going to get the surround no micro to speak of from lullaby finally pulling the SCV back to try to finish off the SCV that he had the surround upon. However, uh, ultimately the fruit proves to be fruitless because Viper XK also pulled a second SCV. Uh, who wants to get those guys home pretty quickly though because the Re Reaper is just now popping out a second one on the production tab already for Lullaby. Lullaby's pushing forward is probably going to be having no problems dealing a death stroke to both of those SCVs, but you got to be careful with a Marine out on the field right now. I don't care how quickly you regenerate health. If you're dealing with two enemies at a time, it's going to be a trouble. Lullaby pushing forward. It looks like he's going to kill that first Marine, but a second Marine pushing in. Will Viper X go? Oh, nice stutter step there to close the distance to make it so that, that Reaper cannot retreat, cannot get that health up, and that is a major blow to Lullaby. Don't don't mistake me saying major because he's losing some minerals and some gas. Who cares about that? No one. I don't care about that. What I care about is the fact that that Reaper is supposed to justify its existence by scouting and making it so that Lullaby doesn't have to blow a scan. Uh, you can get quite a lot of minerals from a mule and you're losing that energy on a scan instead. It sucks. Factory being thrown down by Viper XK. So instead, his scouting is going to be incredibly delayed now. He's got that second Reaper out, but, but that has bought enough time for Viper XK to produce another handful of Marines. He's got an SCV already positioned to throw it on a bunker. Once this bunker goes up, Whirlwind does not like Reapers. There's really only one way into the natural. Look at this. You can't jump that. You can't jump that at all. So this Reaper, both of these Reapers, we got two on the production tab right now, are totally screwed. They're not going to be able to do anything scouting-wise to justify their existence. So Lullaby is totally going to be in the dark. Uh, even a Widow Mine being thrown into the boot. So that is a major win for Viper XK. Don't discount that. Uh, Starport being constructed right now. This factory is probably going to land on that reactor. Probably going to produce a couple of Hellions. Because I don't know if you know this, Hellions are actually a really, really good counter to Reapers. They outrange them just a little bit, I think. And even if they don't, they can move just as fast as Reapers and really close the distance, shut down any scouting that can come out of them. 
Uh, even with three Reapers on the field right now, Lullaby is going to have a hell of a time trying to break this contain that Viper XK has on this uh, on this ramp right now. Even with that Widow Mine there, the two bear, uh, two Marines in that bunker, Hellions beginning to get out on the field. Two more Widow Mines on the production field and a Starport. I honestly don't know what type of drop we're going to be seeing with the sheer number of Widow Mines being produced. Uh, I think one Reaper, two Reaper, and three Reaper. No, nice control there from Lullaby, keeping them alive. But again, those Hellbats are a really nice counter to that Reaper, shutting down that. Uh, as I was saying, I don't know what type of drop we're going to be seeing. It could be a Widow Mine drop, just because that's the infrastructure we have right now. But uh, Hellbat drops are still very, very powerful. They used to be incredibly popular because for a reason, because they were very, very good at crushing an entire mineral line, but now they've gone out of bow because of those Hellbats. We don't see a armory being thrown down, so I think it's far more likely that Viper XK is going to, and this is what I'm talking about, that scan! Oh, that stings! Lullaby's got to be hating that, but let me finish one thought so far in this entire replay. Uh, oh man, I totally lost it too. Like, uh, Widow Mine Drops, very, very popular right now for a reason. They're very, very good. Uh, Hellbats have obviously reduced uh, Hellions into a supplemental role. Uh, they're not nearly as popular now as far as drops are concerned. We saw the dro uh, the scan come out of Lullaby. That sucks, but it's because it's necessary because he just d hasn't had the scouting so far. I like this tech switch up. He's got two tech labs on his barracks right now. And uh, getting those Marauders out there is going to allow him to deal with the Hellions down here. If you can look at my pointer on the minimap. However, this is far more important. Burying two different Widow Mines at the same time the uh, strike is going on in the mineral field. Wow, look at that. Forcing an entire pull away. We can see the eight workers have gone completely down. The Marines are going to have to boot scoot and get out of there as quickly as possible. Like the switch up, producing the Widow Mines in two different corners. Actually lifting off one of the Widow Mines, forcing another scan. That is a second scan, which I think uh, Select has shown us that that's 270 minerals per scan is the best you can pretty much hope for right now on the, on the map that we have out in the field right now so that's 500 minerals just wasted uh, because those reapers didn't do their job and get up into the base if he had seen that these widow mines were coming if he'd seen the infrastructure he was dealing with early on he might have had a, uh, a widow mine or a missile turret thrown down to deal with these drop plays as things are now viper xk is just playing with him he's going to be taking down this tech lab which is working on the uh the stem or would have if the marines and marauders weren't in position but nice little bait and switch pulling those marines in there but the majority of those are marauders which do not have an issue at all with dealing with the uh the widow mine nice pick up by Viper XK to, to lift them off. Where'd he go? I flew right out over him. Uh, he lifted up the uh, Widow Mine, and by lifted up I mean unburrowed it, making it so that that Widow Mine could be lifted off into the Medivac. We saw another scan being thrown down there because it was so fast as the Widow uh, Medivac was flying over the Widow Mine that he picked him up. Lullaby didn't actually notice it, forcing another scan. That's a third scan right now, and that is just absolutely brutal. We can see the Widow... We don't mind in the medevac moving in just a little too close to that missile turret, not taking any damage. Nice control there by Viper XK. Doesn't want to drop off his units any closer to that missile turret though. Suiciding in that last Widow Mine is probably going to force another scan if it wasn't for that defensive missile turret already there offering some static detection. Good control there by Viper XK realizing that that detection is really going to destine that Widow Mine to fail. I think that Widow Mine's not long for the world at all. Neither is that Marine. But ultimately, what has this accomplished? He took out eight. Uh, SCVs and that initial pressure forcing another pull from all those SCVs cutting down substantially in the mineral income we can see that the infrastructure is a little bit behind for lullaby not really where he wants it to be ultimately he'd want those medevacs to be on the field he's already dealing with drops from viper you know and he hasn't had any medevacs to speak of on the field at all so that's just absolutely brutal to him especially with the sheer number of marauders he's got on the field right now they're very ponderous units they're very heavy hitting he'd love to see them uh, exchanging blows at the ramp of viper xk right now but he can't he has to keep himself cramped back at home and it's giving viper all the time in the world to throw down these widow mines and defensive positioning for the inevitable push from lullaby 70 over 110 this is absolutely brutal we see the armory on the production tab Viper XK is going to be switching over to Hellbat Production as soon as this last round of Widow Mines pops out. He's got the double Evo Chambers. What is he on? Plus one, plus one? Uh, just plus one weapons. But he's got that Combat Shield, and that's weird that we don't see Combat Shields coming out from Lullaby. That can definitely add some longevity to your Marines, especially when you see the splash damage from those Widow Mines already out. Uh, hmm. 
ultimately I, I'm looking at this unit composition and I like it, but what he's missing is uh, medevacs. He does just doesn't have the sheer number of medevacs. We have four supporting vipers. Uh, standing force and lullaby has one <laughs> congratulations you guys are screwed <laughs> so if lullaby decides to actually uh, engage viper xk's army stim or no he's gonna get eaten alive uh, and yeah he's got those marauders and those marauders are very very heavy hitting army units they they have a lot of hp but uh, you know that only helps whenever you have a prolonged engagement a little bit of a hellion run by going by but with the lullaby keeping his units close he's probably not going to be losing too many scvs here really not doing any damage to the uh, economy at all ultimately a wash for viper xk and i was looking at the mini map waiting for that other round of uh <laughs> widow mines being thrown in look at this widow mine placement really nice right along the uh the run by edge at where you'd expect lullaby's army to go viper xk positioning his units in the shrubbery but again i just can't tell you how important it is that this uh large disparity of medevac numbers is it's it's basically two to one right now of medevacs against uh medevacs in the favor of viper and yeah he's got a huge number of marines but those marines are very very mobile and they're going to be able to kite back this force from lullaby into the waiting arms of all those widow mines here goes the push it looks like lullaby has the superior concave but with the superior medevac count i think viper xk is not going to have a problem with dealing with this again kiting him back into the arms of those widow mines but i think lullaby knows what to expect so he's pulling back he is attempting to take the uh, third right here but realizing it's way too ballsy pulls back do we see a third we see the cc has been constructed and viper xk is actually electing to lift it off and produce the orbital back at home actually producing a plethora of missile turrets to defend them what's his static defenses back at home just a single missile turret on the port side there and a, oh yeah more than a handful protecting his main base so very nice there very nice there viper xk just cementing his lead right now hold our upgrades at we're at plus one plus one right yeah plus two more than halfway done finally getting combat shields i think lullaby is going to force an engagement as soon as he gets those combat shields and it will be coming in just a couple of seconds double scan probably one from each player probably lullaby scanning his front door just to see if that widow mine is indeed there there goes the wow a stem for a single widow mine that's i mean you know whatever you want to make sure you get that kill and if the uh if the digging claws had been researched he probably would need that stem fort pushing forward got to be careful with the widow mine on the left side no there goes it and man i don't care how good your concave is with just a handful of medevacs supporting your your bio force when a huge number of medevacs supporting viper xk man just look at that concave cave Viper XK pushing forward, handily winning the ground force, not relying at all on his widow mines, pushing forward, lullaby, tapping out. You know, I, I like to believe that what was blanked out here was losing uh, and not any other four letter word. He's a losing person and, and lullaby feels bad for losing, so he's it's self deprecating right there. He's not making fun of Viper XK. He just he feels bad because because of what happened. And um, you know, I honestly gotta say that Widow Mine drops his ultimately underutilized i think we're going to see it coming into vogue david kim has talked about how they want to nerf hellbats or are thinking about nerfing hellbats i think ultimately that's going to cause a metagame shift into the waiting arms of widow mines because we don't see that enough we don't see this enough i love the idea of having a minefield in a, a terran versus terran or terran versus anything uh, i think it's awesome i think a player controlled just shutting off an entire corridor, forcing engagements in these narrow chokes. That's so cool. I can't wait for it. Uh, but we don't see it. It's not popular because Hellbats are too good right now. And ultimately, when we see Hellbats begin to shift away in the metagame, we're going to see more and more of those Widow Mines, and that's going to be banging. You know what else was banging was this game. Thank you, Viper, for posting this game. This is awesome. Uh, and thank you for watching this replay. So if you have a game you want me to cast, you could PM me here or on Reddit. One way or another, I will see you guys later. I am big and scary. Bye.